to now we're having another service of the King. It's two weeks now since he passed away. Our way of showing our gratitude for all that he'd done for the Thai nation, and specifically here at Wat Meta. The fact that those of us from the West have been able to study the Dharma in Thailand that owed a lot to his work in keeping Thailand together at times when, Thailand, when the, all the countries around it were falling apart. As I say, when you show gratitude to someone who's passed away, one, you do good and you dedicate the merit to them. And then two, you think about the goodness that they established as an example, and you figure out how you can keep that goodness alive. Because people who do good in the world, they don't want it to end when they pass away. They don't want that goodness to continue on. Today I was reading some of the interviews that the King gave to foreign journalists, and two points stood out. At one point they asked him about his, his powers as King, and he says, really, I don't have any power. I don't use my power. I try to be honest. I try to be sincere. And people see the honesty and they see the sincerity. In that, in that case, they're willing to listen to what I have to say. And this is a good principle to maintain in life, to realize that the power we have that other people are glad to have us have that power depends on our using it well, using it sparingly. And using it in a way when people see it really is for the common good. Remembering that the influence of a kind heart goes much deeper and goes much farther than just the influence, of, say, of power or force. There was the old fable they tell about the argument between the wind and the sun as to which was more powerful. And finally the wind said, okay, I'll make a bet with you. They saw a man walking along the road. He had a blanket wrapped around him. They said, let's see which of us can get the blanket off the man. And so the wind blew and blew and blew, and of course the more it blew, the more tightly the man held the blanket around him, till the wind gave up. Then it was the sun's turn. The sun just started beaming more and more and more. And the man finally took the blanket off of his own accord. So think about that and when you have situations where you have power and influence. Try to use it in a way where people are happy to have happy to have you have the power. And use it in a way when they see that it is for their own good. The second lesson from the interviews is at one point the king said a lot of things he was doing with his various projects, there were no examples of other kings having done these things. He said he simply saw that there was a place where he could be of service, he could be of use. And so he stepped in to fill the gap. I think we can all think about areas in our lives where we have a set series of duties. But think about things that lie outside of our set series of duties, areas where we can be of help to the common, common good, regardless of whether it's our duty or not. If there's something good that can be done, and you've got the power and you've got the time to do it, go ahead and do it. Look at it as an opportunity, an opening that other people are leaving for you. Now, in some cases, the, the new thing you might do, you might discover well, there's a reason why nobody in the past did it. In other words, you've misread the situation, but you try your best to read the situation and think about all the consequences of your action. And if you see it's for the common good, go ahead and do it. This is a principle that you find in the, the teachings of the Forest of Johns as well. The John Mahabur one time said that the teachings we get from the, from the Pali Canon, from our teachers, 
Those are just basic principles. You compare them to the trunk of a tree. As for the branches of the tree, that's up to you to figure out how these principles apply to whatever state of mind you're dealing with. And since they give you basic principles for dealing with anger, you try them and they don't seem to quite work for you, well, make a few adjustments. See if you can approach the problem from a slightly different angle. Use your ingenuity. And if you find a technique that works, as John Mahabhava says, well, even though that technique is not listed in the canon, if it works, it's dharma. Because that's what dharma is all about, is working for, for a particular goal, for the goal of putting an end to suffering, or at least alleviating as much of your suffering as you can. In other words, it's the results that count. Though the means may be a little bit different from what you read in the text, if they work, no harm is done. You haven't done anything blameworthy. Then you know it's dharma. This allows you to use your ingenuity and to step into situations where there's no clear guideline from the past. But you've got the basic principles, and the question is, how do you apply those basic principles to a new situation? You step in and do your best. So these are some of the lessons we can learn from the good people in the past, not just the King of Thailand, all the great Ajans, all good people in the past, going all the way back to the Buddha. They've set their example for us, not simply so that we can admire their example, but so we can figure out how can we apply their example in our lives. This is how goodness gets maintained in the world. And as you use your ingenuity and bring it into new situations, it helps it not only be maintained, but it helps goodness to grow. We're born into this world with a debt to those who went before us. And this is one of the ways we pay it back. Just to make sure that the goodness they did doesn't die with us, but it keeps going. We can't guarantee that it'll survive us. But at the very least, don't let it die in our actions, in our thoughts, in our words, in our deeds. Because the world needs goodness. And if you wait for other people to provide it for you, it's never going to come. It's something that has to come from within. Let it start with you. Or let it let you carry it on, whatever goodness it inspires you from the past. <laughs>